Welcome back, everybody. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was working on this uh, 09 Impala I have. I replaced the uh, throttle body, and a few weeks before that, I replaced the gas pedal. Um, these cars are electronic throttle, and the problem was when they go bad on these Chevys, not just the Impala, you'll have what they call a uh, engine power reduced uh, light come on your your vehicle uh, and it's usually one of two things either the throttle body or the gas pedal itself because the gas pedal has a sensor on it so I've changed both of those the issue has not gone away so I did a little more research on it and it's either going to be a ground or a bad wire a bad wire is kind of hard to, to run down you have to test under the um, dash where the uh, gas pedal is and then up on the uh, plug where the plug is into the throttle body to figure out which wire doesn't have continuity is how you fix that. There are a lot of other videos that have uh, how to test for continuity on wires. You can watch those. I uh, may or may not show how to do that in this video. Um, I may not get to it at this point at all. I think what I might do, because this is an old police unit, it has rubber floors. And when I put the gas pedal in, the rubber floor got underneath that bracket. I'm thinking that maybe that bracket is also used as a ground. There's another possibility of a ground being bad. So we're going to go ahead and loosen that up and try and get the rubber out from underneath that pedal and then bolt it back on. It's two 10, mm, 10 millimeter bolts holding that gas pedal on and it just plugs in. So we'll try that, see how it goes. I don't think that's the problem. I think honestly what we have going on is a uh, bad wire. Um, and if that's the case, I'll try and get a really long wire and hook it to one of the leads on a meter and try and test for continuity and see which wire might be bad. You have to look at the color of the wire on the throttle body and then match it up with two wires that go to the gas pedal to test them. So, with using a multimeter. So, that's where we're at. It's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, if one of the wires I find is bad, I'm probably going to run it from the throttle body through the firewall, not run it along with all the other wires uh, that follow go with it because those wires run everywhere. So I'll have to keep it away from the heat as best I can because more than likely that's what happened with this wire. If it went bad, the heat got to it and it just, it's frail. This car is an 09, so 19, 20, about 14 year old car. So um, We'll get started with this gas pedal suit we got, and I don't know if I'll be able to film it or not because it's kind of a tight space down there. So we'll get started with that. But the second half of this video is changing the throttle body, and it did that did that a few weeks ago. So um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll try and help you out as best I can. There are a lot of videos changing these throttle bodies. This is just one of them. I really don't make how-to videos, so I just show what I'm doing, what I'm into, and how I do it. So. Just a disclaimer there. So, all right, let's see what we got. Okay. Just to show you what I'm talking about here. I'm trying to get my light up here so you can see it. Obviously, right here is a gas pedal. There's two bolts. You can see one. You can see the other one. That's what holds your pedal on. Now... There's a plug, you can't see it up in here, that plugs in. You can barely see it. Plugs into this gas pedal. I think what's going might be going on, if you pull this rubber down, there's this carpet in here, or this, whatever you call it, texture. That got underneath uh, the metal, and I think it might be preventing it from grounding correctly, if this even grounds. I don't know, I'm just guessing at it. So what I'm going to do, here we go, is loosen those two bolts and pull this carpeting stuff right here off, re re or tighten the bolts back down, and see if that'll fix our issue. Maybe I'll get lucky, probably not. So that's what we're going to do. That's the checker. Um, what I'm going to do real quick, put it in drive. Yes, we know the door is open. A little bit of gas. Usually the light comes on when you take off, start moving. 
trying to do this in my driveway. So far it's not come on. Let's do a read here on the codes. Erase previous, yes, we'll erase what we had before. Control module engine. Read codes. We'll go with pending codes first. 0449 evaporation emissions vent. Still in the white circuit, okay. 2127 throttle pedal position sensor switch circuit low. So it's still showing a problem with that. 2138 throttle position sensor voltage correlation. Okay. So it's got two codes for the throttle. And then that's I have an exhaust leak. I think that's what that is. So 2127 and 2138. I need to do some research on those see what comes up like I said the gas pedal throttle body have been replaced and uh, you know we got another issue going on which I think is a wire so all right let's go back let's do stored codes 449 yeah same thing there's a thing on here called Permanent codes. I don't understand why. Leak detected. Large leak. That's the uh, exhaust. Exhaust. Yeah, there's idle air control system are higher than expected. But the throttle body, when I put it on, it's having a high idle. The computer is supposed to relearn it, and it took forever for it to do that. So I had it up to I only at 2,000 RPM at one point until the computer relearned the uh, new throttle body I put on it. All right, so let's get out of that. All right. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna take it down the road, see if the code pops up the engine, reduce power, I'm sure it will. Uh, if that's the case, we'll go ahead and make another part to this video and I'll have to make a long lead wire uh, from the throttle body back here so I can use the multimeter to test it. So wanted to come on here and talk about that. I just drove this car around so far to my surprise. I'm probably going to jinx myself when I say this, but that engine power reduced has not come back on since I cut some of that carpet away from that uh, pedal and bolted it back to the floor. So now I know that it's the metal bracket mounted to metal. And the only thing I can think of, because I work a lot with uh, lawnmowers, the only thing I can think of, excuse me here, the only thing I can think of is when you put a solenoid on a lawnmower, most of them don't have a ground wire. When you mount the solenoid to the mower, that is the ground. I'm thinking that's the case here. That's that's what I thought of. That's what I was trying to do. And maybe I fixed it. I, I don't know. I'm take, kind of taking a stab at it and guess at it. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep driving it. I'll let you know if it comes back on. If it does, then like I said, I think we have a wire issue. So, But for now, it seems to be working. Um, problem now is I looked at my fuel gauge. I have an eighth of a tank, and I could have swore I put fuel in this. And uh, now I'm kind of worried I have a fuel uh, gas tank leak or something. I just looked at it underneath. It doesn't look... Like it's leaking, but I might could put gas in this and then keep checking it. So with this, when it rains, it pours, and right now it's pouring outside. So that's why I'm sitting here in the car. So, but for now, I'm gonna go run to town, get my wallet, put some gas in this thing, keep a close eye on it, the gas tank, 
and uh, see if I have a fuel leak. I do love this car. It's one of my favorite cars I've ever driven up. Uh, please like, subscribe, and leave any comments, suggestions. Maybe you ran into, a, into an issue with a GM vehicle like this. And uh, maybe it was some kind of crazy whacked out thing that took it to fix it. Like maybe this was. So, Alright guys, catch you later. God bless you. Have a good one.